So today, we're going to talk about one of my all-time favorite musicians and composer, John Philip Sousa. He was born in Washington, D.C. in 1854, and he was the son of two immigrants, his father from Portugal and his mother from Germany. John Philip Sousa could play all of the band instruments because his father was actually in the Marine Band and played trombone, but he was also a really great pianist and violinist. He started playing music rather early, and a little known secret, he almost joined a circus because he loved the music and wanted to travel, but his father stopped him and instead enrolled him as an apprentice with a Marine Band musician. So why are we talking about John Philip Sousa? Even if you've never heard of him, you've heard of his pieces. He is known as the March King. He wrote military music and, wait for it, patriotic music, which is why we're talking about him this week. He was prolific. Prolific, that's a hard word. Prolific means they do a lot with their art. So if you're an artist and you're prolific, that means that you paint a lot of pieces of artwork. And if you're a composer and you're prolific, that means you write a lot of music in your lifetime. He wrote a lot of marches. His best known works are Semper Fidelis, the official United States Marine Corps March, Stars and Stripes Forever, which is the National March of the United States, and the Washington Post. The March, the Washington Post was written in 1889 and became incredibly popular. It was originally written for the Washington Post newspaper to promote an essay contest. However, it was so popular it even got adapted into a dance, the two-step. As a result, it was a British journalist who called Sousa the March King. Inspired by the name given to Johann Strauss Jr., the Waltz King. In 1880, he was appointed the conductor of the United States Marine Corps Band, which is where he wrote all of this music and why he wrote it mostly. It was actually for his band. An interesting thing that you should know about John Philip Sousa is that he actually created an instrument all on his own. So as he was getting his marching bands ready, he realized that they couldn't take tubas onto the marching field because they were just too big, too bulky, and too heavy to carry around on the field. So as a normal musician would do, he said absolutely not and created his own, which is the sousaphone. The sousaphone is used in marching bands even today because it's much easier to carry around on a field because you actually put it on your shoulder and carry it around almost like a backpack. Something else you should know, John Philip Sousa actually led the Marine Band for their first phonograph recording. Phonograph was the way that we recorded music before we had cassette tapes or CDs or DVDs or even recordings on a computer. And the first recordings came out in 1890. And by the end of the 19th century, over 400 works written by Sousa could be purchased on phonograph. This led to his works being incredibly popular and the Marine Band became one of the first international recording stars. In 1917, when the U.S. declared war on Germany during World War I, Sousa was commissioned as a lieutenant in the Naval Reserve as he was already 62 and at the mandatory requirement age for the Navy. However, he was actively involved in the war effort by leading the Navy Band at the Great Lakes National Station near Chicago. And he even went so far as to donate all of his salary from the Navy, except for $1 every month, to the Soldiers and Marines Relief Fund. His active duty went to November 1918, when he was discharged and went to lead his own band. Although Sousa had been discharged from the Navy, he was incredibly proud of his time in the Navy. And even when he created his own community band, he wore his Navy uniform every time they performed. He also received the World War I Victory Medal for his wartime service. And the day before he died, he conducted a rehearsal of the Stars and Stripes Forever as a guest conductor for the Ringgold Band. It's not hard to see why John Philip Sousa is known as the March King, because he wrote 137 marches in his lifetime and is still known as the March King today. He paved the way for marching bands as we know it today and also created an instrument that we still use in marching band and has been a great addition to our ensemble.